Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Wide with the American Orthodox Society, and uh, we're showing the case here about adults. You know where we're closing space and uh, uh, filling these gaps in. You can uh, do this, or you can open space. And uh, people will go back, or they write back and write. Like, how do you? open the gap in here or how do you pick a tooth up that's laying down like this, raise it up, we'll just show you that, and then you can hold these teeth with a, pin, a little screw-like thing and you can pull these from the back to the front. So I'm going to try to draw some of this off and help uh, you if there's people that, that aren't familiar with uh, doing this. So let me hit this white screen and see if we can get something going here. All right, say for instance we have a tooth that's sitting like this and the roots are back in this area and we want to pull that tooth over to a bicuspid that's sitting here like that. Now let's just say that we have teeth around on the other side of the mouth over here, but how, how are we going to straighten this tooth up and then we'll pull it over this way? Now the way we would straighten it, we'd have some of these bracketed in here, and you use a, uh, you put, put a little tube on the tooth and you run an arch wire in there, and now this, this is what we would uh, do this, you go in and you build this wire like that, or you can make two deals. You can run this out here if you want to, and uh, then you're going to bring it up and hook it over this. There'll be other teeth in here. So now this would come through this tube, come out here, like this, something like this, and you do this, uh, and then we run this wire over here and we will bring it up and hook it, put a hook in this, bring it up and hook it behind. Say we had a, another bicuspid over here, and you had a bracket on it. You have to put your hook right behind there, and you got it attached here, and this hook come up from here. So now this would come up like this, and now that hook. As this tooth straightens up, it's going to move back in this direction. And this uh, deal right here, it'll be this, you're pulling on this, you can increase it pressure if you want to, and it'll straighten that tooth up where it would be setting more like this, right in here. Now this would move back and this hook would slide back as it moves up there. Now if you want to pull, you get this tooth up straight, and you want to pull it up against these right here, uh, you would have to put a wire in there that was going all the way around and be tied on the other side, and you come to a point like this. Uh, I'm going to have to erase that so you can uh, see better what we're doing here. All right, now we've got this tooth that's setting up like this, and we've got a bicuspid over here, and another bicuspid in there, and teeth going around the corner of the cuspid, and you've got teeth over on this side of the mouth, and we've got brackets on here, and we come, and we this would be coming over here, but what we would do, we come back along here and we drop down and make a loop like this. It comes this way. Now you raise this up and hook it in this tube right here and it'd be sticking out over here. And then we tie. Now this would, this would be in this gap, but it would be tightening this loop right here. Now we run a wire through here and pull it up tight and it will start moving these roots kind of 
bringing the roots in this direction. Now, if you just pull on this without anything, then this tooth's going to lean over like this, and that's not what you want. And if you left this alone and didn't do anything else to it, this, this, these roots would move up in this direction here. But we're going to pull on this, and that tends to tilt it in this direction, and the deal here tends to make it go in the other direction. And so what happens, it brings the tooth over to this area. Now, if you don't want this to go back, you have to put a little screw down in the bone structure, the cortical bone over there. It stops these teeth from going back, and this tooth would just move right on up. And that's kind of the way we did this lady that you saw. We'd have that. This would pull this tooth right up and have it, and when it would come, you'd have this tooth sitting like that, and these roots would just be filled in like that. And that'll pull that right up against that, but you have to shorten this arch wire to keep this loop right here in front of your gap, you see, to pull it. Now it's pulling on these teeth and everything over here, pulling this back, or you could have a space over here you're working on, the same thing over the other side. So the sec secret of doing this is coming out of here with a wire and you make this kind of loop and you pull it here. Then you put that into a tooth over here, and that pressure on there tends to make the roots go in this direction. And then you pull on it, makes the crown come in this direction. So you're pulling, and you have this activating, and you carries this tooth straight forward into this gap, and it'll move it. That's that's the way we do that. And if you want to just open it, you do this, and then it'll go backwards, and then you can fill in the gap. If you had one that's laying down like this, let me put another deal here, and let's see. And you could take a tooth that's sitting like this, and you got another, say, a boulder up here, and you could pick this tooth up if you want to. You have to do some electrosurge, come down in here, and you just pull down in here and make movements like that. And this would come out here. You'd have to have something to rest this on, bring it up in there. So now this pressure here will raise this tooth up. And this tooth would just move backwards, and this would go down some. Now, if you want to bring this over here, then you've got to go on the other side of the, in the mouth and tie it down, and that'll pull it in this direction. So you can, you can just do anything almost you can think about in moving adults and children's teeth. And adults move faster than you think they do, and you can do it as long as they're living. So don't think you can't do that. A lot of times people have been taught that they can't do that. I mean, I don't know how I many people think that adult bone won't move, and this is a false thing. This is, it can be moved, and you can do it, and you can learn how to do it if you don't know how to do it yet. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope you learn how to open or close space. You can just do a what you, you want to with these people's teeth, regardless of their age, as long as they got fairly good bone structure, don't have too much of a periodontal pocket where there's no root in the bone, you can't, you have to be very, very careful with those type things. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope you will learn how to open and close space if you don't already know. I realize there's a lot of you out there that know how to do this, but there's a lot of you that don't know how to do it. So thank you for watching, and I'll sign out now.